Hey guys, so it's April and today I am going to do um, a video, clearly, on um, all the things, well 10 things I got for Christmas this year. I got quite a lot of things because um, I didn't really want anything of large expense, so in return I got quite a lot of things to add up to expensive, I think. So, um, I got quite a lot of things. So I'm just going to show you 10 of the things, okay? These are no particular order of favourites. These, you know, these aren't necessarily my favourite gifts in any way. But I love them to pieces, okay? These are the 10 main presents I got. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. The first one is a top corn t-shirt that I'm wearing. I really love it. Um, it's like one of them shirts but you know it's not a shirt because it doesn't have buttons on you know what I mean it's very nice I really like it it's different it's a bit unusual I feel I really like it um because you know it's not one of them button up shirts it's just like an old t-shirt but a shirt if that makes sense so anyway <laughs> I'm messing up my words sorry I apologize I'm not good at anything <laughs> I really like this top it's lovely it's just nice and also it's a size 12 and I'm normally a size 14 and it fits me perfectly so it's also giving me a lot of um, self esteem like yes I can fit into some size 12s yes I did not know that I'm very happy about that so yeah that's the first thing I was going to talk to you guys about secondly is a bit sad okay as you all know I'm a huge Selena Gomez fan I've been obsessed with Selena Gomez since I was about 9 years old or 10 years old I think 10 um, so, yeah, so I got the official Selena Gomez calendar, okay, I get this, I've been getting this every year since I think 2011, so I've got all the calendars so far, I really like it, see on the back, I'm going to put this up on the wall, um, before where, where I normally put my um, Selena Gomez calendars, you know, when, when it's 2016 of course I'm going to put it up and I just love it. Look at her, the beautiful Selena Gomez. So I love, I love all the films she's been in, all the TV shows she's starred in. I love her music. I've got all of her albums. So yeah, I'm quite sad. So next, also we have um, a makeup bag. I've got all my makeup in it. Um, I got this. It's beautiful. It's really shiny. As you can see around here, it's got loads of sparkles. It's a nice big bag. I got it um, for Christmas off my parents. It's um, number seven. Okay, for anyone who's not British, um, I think it's I think it's British. Um, there's a star called Boots, which is most predominantly a pharmacy. You know, where you can get like medication and things. But it does do other things sometimes, and. Um, it has its own makeup brand called Number Seven. Okay, and I love Number Seven. It was one the second foundation I ever had when I was thirteen years old was Number Seven. Okay, so um, and I've just stuck with that since because it's fairly cheap, but not too cheap. If that makes sense. So it's a good price because I'm not majorly into makeup, so it's not like Mac or anything like that. But it's also a very good quality. Okay, I'm wearing the um, foundation now. You know it. It covers up very well, um, it doesn't look fake in any way if you get what I mean. You know some people wear a lot of foundation and it looks like their face is sawdust and about to, you know, break away. This doesn't, so it's very good, I really like it, I love all the makeup but that num that's number 7. So anyway, I got this bag that's by number 7, this makeup bag, it's got a mirror and it came with some brushes. It came up with came with um, a foundation brush which as you can see I've been using but it's very pretty um, it came with this brush which I've been using a bit as well it came with that brush and it came with that brush and it came with that brush I'm not a big makeup person so I'm going to majorly be relying on my friends to show me how to use the these brushes and how to use them two brushes not necessarily these so um yeah I really like these They're pretty mm -hmm. so anyway 
um, came with these. It also came up, came, came up, came with um, this little palette, this little um, eyeshadow palette. Which is number seven, of course. It's a bit of a mess because I've been using it a lot. There you go. See, it's got quite a few nice colours. It's very pretty. Yeah, I really like it. Came with these two lip perm glosses and these two lip crayons, and that's it. So that's everything that it came with. Yeah, I'm really happy, and they're all number seven, and I love number seven. Number seven is life to me. So, yeah, I'm not a big makeup person, so number seven's perfect. This is not sponsored by number seven in any way, or boots in any way. Okay, it's not sponsored by anyone. So, I'm just, I'm just notifying you all of my passions. Also, another thing that I put in here, I also got this number seven thing, which came with this big puffy brush that I've been using um, and it's like that it's got like bronzer and highlighter and things all in one there which kind of just like sweep across the face it's nice I've been using it you might not be able to tell though because I'm not very good at it but yeah so they're very good Number five is since in England it's very cold weather in um, winter and in summer to be honest. Um, don't know if you already know that. If you don't live in England, you might not know. It's very cold here. The rain was actually it rains a lot. It snows a lot. Well, it doesn't even snow that much. I don't think it just gets frosty and cold. So it's very boring. So I got these gloves because everyone needs a new pair of gloves. Um, these are very pretty. I really like them. They're to you. So I think that's Tesco, isn't it? I don't know. I think TU is Tesco's anyway. Or is it Asda? I don't know. Okay, it's by one supermarket or something. It's by some sort of supermarket. Anyway, they're very pretty. Apart from my hands are very small. So they don't fit in things very well. But yeah. And that can unbutton. If my fingertips are getting cold. And go over like that. Like a little mitt. It's very pretty. It's very like shiny and can you see the little sparkles in it? It's very pretty. Um, it's a very neutral colour so it'll pretty much go with anything. Um, so you know I'm not going to worry about colour coordination when I'm about to freeze to death. That might be a very bad idea. So yeah. Gloves are important. So number six we have this bag it's from Dorothy Perkins as you can tell that's not the most expensive shop in the world to be honest but it's very nice it does things mainly for my age group um, and it's also very good quality which is quite rare it's rare they do things for like teenagers and they're decent quality you know they're normally terrible <laughs> So, and I love bags, I'm obsessed with bags, um, so, and I could have done with a new bag, so that is just brilliant, it's a lifesaver that I actually got that bag, I'm very happy with it, um, and I think it's very beautiful and gorgeous. Awkward. Number seven is this, um, it's from Avon, it's from my auntie Carol, um, she got me, it's from Avon, it's little necklace and earrings and they're I think they're amethyst which is my birthstone so she got me that I think that's lovely I really do I love that present um, I don't really wear jewellery an awful lot but I'm very happy with that I'm very grateful I love them to pieces um, I'll wear that next time I go out I'm six or seven now I think we're on eight actually Number eight is this. It's um, Dan and Phil's new book, Dan and Phil Go Outside. I'm a very big, big Dan and Phil fan. Well, I'm not the biggest fan in the world, I don't think, but I'm pretty originally a big fan of them. Um, I went on the tour. I did actually um, vlog going on their tour, so you can probably hop, you can probably see it here up there, that vlog, if you want to check that out. But anyway, 
you will put see it up here somewhere in the corners I don't know where so anyway new book I love it um, I'm not actually quite read it yet it's I think it's just about the tar to be quite honest but it was quite cool um, the tar was absolutely brilliant I will admit it was a bit random as you can tell but it was brilliant so yeah if you're a Dan and Phil fan comment below are you a Danosaur or a Philian? I'm a Philian. Phil is life I do love Dan I love them pretty much equally but Phil is just cute okay he's look like if you don't watch Dan and Phil that one there is Phil the one with the little luggage thing sat on the bar isn't he cute I need to stop fangirling. <sighs> there's worse people than me, trust me, there's much worse fans than me. I'm quite low key compared to the other Danville fans. Just getting that out there. Right, I think this is number 10. I'm not quite sure though. So next I've got another calendar, okay? Um, it's this new Scooney Jolie's calendar. Yay. Um, I'm also a huge fan of the Scooney Jolie's, they're vloggers. Um, they're brilliant. It's like they do daily vlogs well I think they're stopping that kind of now they're only doing it on weekdays I think now but anyway they do daily vlogs and it's about family okay Jonathan is the father and um, he's the person who predominantly vlogs sometimes Anna does but it's predominantly Jonathan and he does all the editing and things like that so it's predominantly his channel but it's about his family it's about Anna it's about him Anna Amelia, his little girl, and Eduarda, the little daughter as well. Um, so they're a really cute family. They're adorable. I love them to pieces. So yeah, this, I don't even think they've had a calendar before, have they? I don't know, but they're lovely. I can't wait to put this up on my wall since it's got like a little, since it's like got like a little, little hole punch. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna use this calendar at university because it's pointless in me having two calendars in one room. So I'm going to use the Selena Gomez one for here and put it up there. So it's got a little hole punch. I'll take this to uni and put it up on the pin board in my um, accommodation and you know in my room and yeah. So really happy. Can't quite remember whether I'm on nine or ten to be quite frankly honest. So I'm going to add in this, okay? Um, I am. Um, it's an empty box currently. It it was pajamas in this, if you can see. That's what they looked like. They were a size large. I could have done really done with a medium because they're very big on me. But anyway, my parents' friend got me them. My parents' best friend got me them for Christmas. Um, it was a nice little pajama, fleece pajama top and bottoms, and fluffy socks. Um. I can't show you them currently because I've been living in them since Christmas Day. So because they're so cuddly and warm and lovely, so um, they're in the wash. But it's very cute. I just I love them. So I thought I'd add that one in to try and make it up to either ten or eleven because I can't remember which one I'm on. So yeah, <laughs> brilliant. I'm bad at counting. <laughs> okay, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I guess um, that's the top 10 slash 11 maybe things that I got for Christmas okay I really hope you enjoyed this video and love all the things I got um, comment below down below to let me know what you got for Christmas because I'd absolutely love to know or at least one thing that you got for Christmas because I'm really interested in what you got um, so yeah think and also if you know me in real life and you got me something which is only like Belinda and I think that's you know if you if you do know me in real life and you got me a present and it's not on here I'm sorry um I still love it I literally love every single present I have received so don't take it too cold heartedly <laughs> thank you very much for watching guys please like the video if you haven't already subscribe if you're new and comment below to let me know what you thought um your thoughts mean the world to me remember like the video and um, likes and comments predominantly and subscriptions of course mean the world to me and it 
makes me want to make more videos every single time. So, thank you very much for watching guys. Bye. Love you lads. See you in the next video.